Roswell Flight Test Crew here at AMA Expo 2015, and I am speaking to Mr. Gorilla Bob of Gorilla Bob's RC. How are you, sir? Great. Outstanding. We're having a great time here. So, man, we came by yesterday, and we saw something which I, I didn't immediately recognize it for what it was. But why don't you show the people what we got here? I saw your video of the 200QX where you did the FPV, and I had been planning on getting one, and I got it, and uh, I flew it. And I tried to fly it in red mode, and I crashed and broke off an arm. So I bought a new frame, and I put it all over, and I flew it. And I decided to fly in red mode again, and I crashed, and I broke off an arm. I decided I was tired of paying for the broken arm, and I wanted to build something that was had replaceable arms on it. And so the four bolts that hold the arms together are built to shear off in a crash. It allows the arm to pop off and absorb the crash energy. New bolt, snap it into place, put the bolt in to hold it in place, and it's back and ready to go. And that's what we're looking at here, is essentially a new home for all the 200QX electronics, motors, etc. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your design here? It's a two-plate design held together with nylon bolts and standoffs. The gyro plate mounts to the bottom with three millimeter nylon bolts, and the speed controls mount to the top with the screws that are provided on your 200QX. So you don't have to cut up the old frame to get everything into this frame. It's already there with screw holes to just screw everything in, put it back together. The motors screw on with the regular bolts, and there are flat spots in there to keep the motor from rotating on the frame with Velcro tie-downs so you can use any battery instead of having to stick with the little skinny one. You can add the landing gear, which is just a standoff right now. Then on the front, we have the holes that allow you to mount the FPV camera. They have a, a really small FPV camera that will just zip tie right on, and so that's what theirs for. There's also two other holes in that some people um, want the lights to be a little more front and back. We normally have the LED lights just zip tight on and they will make the whole arm glow when you fly. And then in the top, we have the little window so that you can see the status, green, blue, and red. We use them for night flying too. Um, if you're familiar with the 200QX, when you're flying at night, when the battery gets low, it flashes the lights on and off. When the lights go off, the frame disappears. And so we made them so that they would, uh, I'm working on one that the center body will actually glow in the dark. So when the lights go off, you can still see where you're at. Well, can Tekkenstein go take this thing for a spin in the cage? Let's, let me get the radio and the battery and we'll go. Fantastic. Wow, it is really fast. This little guy can, you know, the 200QX is a fast quadcopter, but... This frame is lighter and it's a little more agile and very fast. This is That's about the most I can say about it. It's just fast. And of course I'm in a small cage here, so it seems a little cramped, but boy, it wants to get up and go. Definitely the same aircraft, but it's got a little more kick to it because it's so much lighter. It's a monster now, it's a lot lighter. And I've been flying for a while here and it hasn't uh, dipped in the power either. And I it's pretty durable. Oh, that's great. Oh! I didn't hit anything, really. <laughs> I saw it happen. It looks like the motor nut came loose. We must have loosened it while we were talking. Okay, well, thank you, Robert, for letting me fly this little aircraft here. My pleasure. Well, this is Roger Flight Test Crew from AMA 2015, signing off. <laughs>